you know, you guys were all a lot of confusion about culture, diversity, why we were doing this project, okay? So after sharing, has anybody had any questions about what it means to be diverse within your culture with the project through food? This documentary is about food and culture and diversity and just showing the ropes of how different everyone is, but how also everyone is alike because we are from different places, but we all have one thing in common, which is food. And it is a common thing, but everything is different when it comes to food, especially from where you are from. So, Mom, can you remind me again, how many generations were the Lakas recipes? So, have? this started by your grandfather, Grandpa Ira, Grandpa would do 150 pounds of potatoes for each um, Hanukkah party. From this project, I've learned a lot about my classmates, about their culture and religion. But I think I discovered more about my own culture, my own religion, um, being Jewish and all the stories and history of my family. He would have the whole back of the house, like he would have all these extension cords and by the <laughs> end, he, he started with one, but then by the end, he would have like, I think he had like seven skillets or something going by the time he finished. It was huge. Everyone we've, came. We've made like what? I have a lot of good memories from Hanukkah and from the Lakas. My favorite is I sit around with my mom and I make Lakas. It's the joy of getting to spend time with my mom, making them and learning about them. And then I get to celebrate and share them with other people. Okay, but does anybody have any questions more about um, the diversity part. Is it is it okay to be different? Yes. yes. Is it more accepting now, learning that the fellow students in your class, you guys are also different, but have you learned something new about somebody else? The proposal is for the students to kind of gather the information and kind of just show the diversity of everyone's background, to understand that even though everyone is different, um, we need to understand that everyone needs to feel accepted because you are different and that being different is not bad. Being different is actually making you unique. I'm mainly Hawaiian. I get all my stuff from my dad's side. I'm Hawaiian, Filipino, Chinese. Um, that's all I can remember right now. Wait, no, Irish as well. And then on my mom's side, what? <laughs> I'm like German, Swiss, and British. Can you also say you were um, Scottish? Irish. Irish. This project has brought together all of our classmates. Um, it's a big experience where everyone is getting to learn about each other, getting to know maybe what you didn't know, learning about stuff that they think is special. Um, so I think that this project has had a huge effect on our class and as more people start to do this, more people think about um, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and they think about religion, it can really bring us all together. So we are making banana lumpia, Ethan's favorite. So our ingredient, everyone wrapper, banana lumpia, and then we're going to put it in the microwave. Everyone eats food, you know, and just to understand, and I think food is more, more approachable to start with. Uh, food is more accepting, and food is the best way, I think, to understand spices, language. When you see menus, so they'll have their language on there, you know, so that makes, it opens up the curiosity, and it, it's much more approaching than um, pushing religion on someone. Um, it's a, a much more understanding avenue is food. Would you have a key to the knife? Yeah. Or Raya has it? Yeah, no. Okay, so here's three pieces. See, so the first one. Careful. I think a lot of different cultures are the reason why there is so much discrimination, but 
the food can help us bring together. Maybe you don't like one person because you think, oh, I don't like their traditions, I don't like their food, but you try it and you like it, and then you start getting to know them, and you get to know their traditions, and you start hanging out. So I think that food can all connect us, um, eliminate discrimination, and it can really um, bring up memories and traditions for all of us. It's a flour mixture, we just can't tell you what's in that flour mixture. <laughs> uh, and some applesauce. Does it pass the taste test? Yeah. <laughs> it always does. 